The internet isn't just the world's largest information resource. It's also quickly becoming the world's largest information medium. Now, putting your message online requires some new skills. So tonight, our guest is Laura LeMay, an expert in those skills. And how do we know she's an expert? Well, she has published some big old books. This one is called HTML 3.2, Learn It in 14 Days. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about your background. How did you get into writing gigantic textbook for people like me? Ah, well, I had uh, many years of training in writing gigantic textbooks. Uh, <laughs> actually, I, I worked in the software industry for a long time, writing manuals, the, the sorts of books you get when you buy a piece of software and put on a shelf and never read anywhere. <laughs> well, when you read something like this, I mean, I was just sort of picking through it, the mm -hmm. tone is, is very different. It's not the tone of a manual. I mean, you sort oh, of very give much really so personal yeah. experience. You're very sweet. It's sort of like a little friend guiding you through oh. HTML. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that's the advantage as a writer, to be able to do these sorts of books, is you can put yourself into the writing. You can actually make it human, unlike technical manuals, which tend to be very dry and, and um, very straightforward. You're representing the product and the company, as opposed to being just a real person explaining this stuff to other real people. You've been online for, for how long now? Ten years. Ten years, yep. wow. Kind of a lot of us. <laughs> the nerd from way back, yeah. <laughs> you have a couple of websites, not just one. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your two different websites. Um, I have a personal website, my personal homepage, and just stuff about me. Um, and on the same machine, running in our bedroom at home, uh, I have a site in support of the books that I've written on HTML and Java and the World Wide Web. So I would imagine that a lot of folks who get through this book and read it and become HTML 3.2 proficient, then click on over to your personal web page and want mm -hmm. to find out more about Laura LeMay. What kinds of, of things can they find out on your <laughs> web page? Um, the web page is uh, pretty, pretty basic, actually. I've been a writer for a very long time. Um, even before I did computer stuff, I did writing. Um, I write lots of humorous stuff. I write short stories. Um, I've got this thing called the incident of the day, which are strange, stupid things that I do that I happen to write and, and share with the rest of the world. Um, the web is, is really neat that way, that you can write stuff like this. You can put stuff like this on the web that might not otherwise get an audience. Um, and people seem to like it. They seem to enjoy that I write this. So as long as they're sending me mail saying it's funny, then I'm no, going to keep doing it. No weirdos <laughs> yet. Knock on whatever this is. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to love? interest too. You have a lot of motorcycles. Yes, motorcycles is my, my other hobby, or my, my hobby that is woefully neglected now that I write books all the time. Um, yes, we have a very large garage with lots of motorcycles in it. Just, just love motorcycles. Yeah. Now your books say I can learn to do HTML in 14 days. I mean, is that really possible? Or are oh, you... yes. Um, actually, the 14... Oh, yes, says the yes. author. Yes, yes. <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> um, actually, the, the 14 days is, is everything you ever wanted to know about the web, basically. Um, you can probably get the basics of HTML, get a page up and running, and, and be on the web in the first three. Um, and actually, the first two of those three are mostly background. So it's, you can rip through it pretty quickly. You can pick it up fairly easily, even without a lot of technical background. And the rest of it is just design considerations and adding all the new whizzy, flashy stuff. You've, had, <laughs> you've had some really great success stories with this. Let's that I had, yeah. Um, I get a lot of email from people who have uh, read my book and quit their job that they hated and started work as an HTML consultant. Um, there was an 11-year-old girl who sent me mail who said that uh, she had read my book and started designing pages for her ISP. 11 years old, and she's making, she's making good money doing web pages. Wow. So, yeah. What do the... Um are people who buy these t technically adept at all? I mean, did the 11-year-old already know what she was doing, or can someone who has absolutely no background actually get on the web in two weeks? Um. Well, if you're on the web already, if you've done some surfing, if you know how to uh, navigate your browser and you know basic computer stuff, then yes, you can start doing HTML. Um, you really don't need an enormous technical background to do it. It's, it's not programming. It's not rocket science. It's fairly easy to pick up. So I'll be able to make my own web page. What do you think of the big picture of the Internet in general? Am I just going to add my web page to the millions out there and, and clutter course. the net? <laughs> <laughs> clutter the net. Well, the, the net will never fill up. That's the, the neat thing about it. And if you think you have some to say, if you think people will be interested in what you have to say, then go ahead. I mean, there's, there are people all over the world who are doing really, really interesting things on the web um, who might have been told that, oh, no one cares, or, oh, your page is just one out of millions of people, so no one's going to be interested. Who, who are they to say? <laughs> you may have something good to say, so go for it. Go to it. <laughs> Great. Thanks so much for being with us. All right. Thanks. We'll be back <laughs> right after this. Don't go away. So this one